Tonight's city of Ann Arbor joined a handful of other American cities in an unusual fashion, decriminalizing the use of psychedelic mushrooms. City Council last night voted unanimously to approve the resolution. Rod Maloney was in Ann Arbor today getting reaction to that decision. Rod? For about the last half century, Ann Arbor has been at the forefront of decriminalizing drugs. Back in the 60s and 70s, it was marijuana. It's the home of the hash bash. And now it's mushrooms and entheogenic plants. And Bannister was the city council member who made the proposal. They are non-addictive uh, chemicals. They are healthier than uh, many of our uh, pharmaceuticals that people can fill their bodies with for years for treatment resistant depression and anxiety. The drugs in question start with plants, ayahuasca from South America, ibogaine from Africa, popular 60s drugs like mescaline, peyote, and psilocybin mushrooms. The council voting 11 to nothing, saying Ann Arbor police should stand down enforcing possession or cultivation. The chief of police told us it's already a very low enforcement priority. The resolution says these are drugs, quote, that can benefit psychological and physical wellness, support and enhance religious and spiritual practices, and can reestablish humans' inalienable and direct relationship to nature, end quote. Something the Michigan Psychedelic Society promotes and member Michael Williams agrees with. It's helped bring me from a very atheistic view to more of a spiritual view. Yet for all the lofty talk about the benefits, there are still skeptics in Ann Arbor like Thana Millar. I don't think they should do that right now until the community or the people have more information. Of course, under federal and state law, these drugs are illegal. And even here in Ann Arbor now, they're saying that if you are committing another crime and you are in possession of these drugs, they fully promote the prosecutor going after you for that as well. In Ann Arbor, Rod Maloney, Local 4. All right, Rod, now in its resolution, the Ann Arbor City Council also asked the Washtenaw County Prosecutor's Office to cease prosecution of those involved in ethnogenic plant use. We reached out to the Prosecutor's Office, but so far received no word on whether the Prosecutor's Office will oblige.